they too. Their showrooms, and then we'll see them they too. We're gonna go check out a denim factory. Yeah. Go into the showroom. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, look at some and then fabrics, some of our dying smaller house. ones where we do like a and uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be all day trip, be driving, and then just, just seeing the process, showing you guys the denim. Denim is new to me, but Ashley has a lot of expertise. So with one of our denim suppliers, it's gonna be a great day. If you want a custom color of denim, you can dye any color um, using PFD fabric, but it has to be PFD fabric. Uh, denim is typically blue and black denims and grays, but if you want to utilize the color, yeah, they're PFD. What is PFD? PFD is just a type of material that... Elaine, maybe you want to explain that? Yep. PFD. Yep. This one, we have to do the uh, over dye. Over dye. Over dye. Original with the denim, the fabric, mm. but we peach out and then the more over dye. Okay. That's become the color like this one. But PFD, as I was explaining, that they can only be P colored, colored denim can be PFD fabrics. Uh, color denim. Yeah. Color denim. denim yeah. 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 Color denim and then the peach out yeah. and then the we over dye the color. Okay. That's become this collection. Yeah. This place is amazing. They have so much. So many things they can do, and so much technology. We cannot wait to utilize it all. This is so soft. So soft. I think uh, we are oh, doing like all the garment. In mm -hmm. the garment, we do the, all the softness, and in the mm -hmm. timing, we have to slowly, slowly to control the timing to the more the soft. Part. More active. For if the for the cool chan, yes. But because this is the really uh, real denim. Oh, Those it's real denim. Yeah, it's the oh. real denim. The warp yarn is the denim yarn. Where are we at? So we're at our denim manufacturer full production facility. Um, this is one floor with like a hundred different sample workers and their capacity is about a thousand samples a month just on this floor alone. I'll give you a context. So normal garment manufacturers, whether it's cut and sew or whatever, their sample capacity or people is normally anywhere from seven to 50 people. This is just one floor with a hundred sample makers. So this is, I mean, just shows you the, the size of this company, which is insane. So yeah, we're working with them for denim and this is like, these are like the real deal. Like this, when you talk about denim manufacturers, this is the real deal. I mean, it's like, okay, I'm on TA. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on TA. Okay. Before you got the top. So now finish washing, they just sewed it in. Yeah. If you want lighter or darker laser, they would give us a range of coats to pick from. Oh, they're gonna make a live sample, so I'm just here for the right. Get on there. Oh, they're gonna make my side. Tag me, baby! See already in the Quanzhou, but some of them are still not ready. For example, that one is the 100% tensile, mm -hmm. but this is doing for the peace style look. Oh, with them. Oh, with them. Oh, with them. <laughs> but they're not leaving with us? No, they are. I mean, like, they're not. So this means not uh, taking a photo in a car. Yeah. <laughs> it smells amazing. But it tastes. Yeah. Yeah, do the sound effects. Yeah. 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 It's fire. Hot pot is the shit. Any given moment, hot pot. That's a good way to get your calories in. Hot pot. Oh. <laughs> so today was a special tour. Uh, this is probably like one, the first time I've ever seen a production facility overseas. And two, denim in general is like brand new to me. This is more of Ashley's forte. Um, this manufacturer has been working with Ashley for quite a bit of time and so we set up this meeting just to kind of come in see the facility how things work and also like kind of see some new technologies and um, it's good right like you're you're able to bridge new relationships with your manufacturers because they'll maybe work with a lot of different clients like throughout the years and all over the world but there's probably not a lot of people that will come visit them see their facility, spend time with them. And I think people like that, especially in Asian cultures, really appreciate that. And you can get a lot farther with your business that way. Little, little small like details here and there will get you really far. But Ashley, what do you think? Yeah, it was, it was phenomenal today to see 
all of uh, the processes actually laid out um, in such a clean and acidic way um, to see things milled from the yarn all the way to how it's transferred over to garment production um, is just exponential on how they do things here. It was very, very well done. I also will say like it was super, like super clean. fucking clean. Clean, yeah, yeah very clean. organized, clean, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was interesting to see like the production lines as well and like how they were checking their KPIs. Like, I, thought, I thought that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're also one of the largest denim manufacturers in the world, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you're wearing a pair of jeans, it's, it's likely that it could have came from, from this factory, which is also pretty cool. Yeah, like the sample room in general, like I've always hear about like when you ask manufacturers who you like, when you're working with them, like how big is your sample room and things like that, like most production places like on the high side is like 50 and sometimes we'll get as few as like seven they had about 120 so like even our manufacturer that's been kind of taking us around stanley when we said like 120 he was like wow that's that's massive i mean obviously we are there so we're able to see the entire facility i would say like it's probably a four to five hundred thousand square feet facility that's a very massive. big deal like Huge. very big deal and that's only one of yeah, one of <laughs> yeah. like 14 to 15 different countries. And I mean, it was just the, the mill and the dye house. Yeah. Right? There's a whole yeah. two or three more And this steps. is their biggest one yeah. in Guangzhou. Um, which I'll let y'all speak a little bit more about, um, like the laser. Yeah. Uh, it's not like it's replacing the wash essentially. Yeah, so, so uh, new finishes, mm -hmm. new washes, they, they have laser, they have ozone, they work with like laser, like you said, that's not using any water, so it's super um, economical and eco-friendly. So if you want to go that route, you can achieve the exact same um, look as a bleach would um, on any mm -hmm. indigo or black denim. So that's really um, innovative, uh, to, very innovative to use for, for denim. Yeah, and uh, when we say like, I'm new to denim, it's because in every form of textile, every category is a very different process. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you're a you know normal consumer and you're buying a product, you see a product in the store, you probably just see a pair of jeans, you probably just see you know a t-shirt, a hoodie, uh, a pair of leggings, like every process is so completely different in how it's made. And this is literally an art form. Honestly, this just gives you like a full comparison and an appreciation for how things are made and hopefully you guys can kind of get a grasp of like the things that Austin is filming and really understand like the camera doesn't do this justice. Like the the precision, the capability, the production capacity, just everything that's in that building. Of course, like we're gonna be touring many different buildings with other different factories and products and categories of products. And so everything is just so different. You guys have to understand like when we're creating things, there are brands that order from catalog and there are brands that really create from scratch. Mm -hmm. And when we work with brands, we pride ourselves, okay, this process takes a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but this is the reason why. And hopefully for the brands that work with us and brands that want to work with us in the future, you guys can get a glimpse of this process. We went through this factory in like nine different stages of just for one product. Remember, every single product goes through all of these processes. and. There is one process that we couldn't show you guys, which is in the mill side of the fabric testing. The fabric testing is all like, they're, they're all in lab coats, they're really in there, mm -hmm. actually like scientifically testing this product for durability, stretchness, fastness, um, like honestly everything, like the yarn, like the oh, strength dies. of it, like everything is so mm -hmm. scientific. And so the reason why we stress the importance of like taking your time with product development for a longevity of a brand in there, all their certificates are only for big brands. You don't see all the little brands that they work with because those are the big brands that spend the money, spend the time to develop these products that take, honestly, sometimes years. And I understand, you know, when you're working with product, pro product development companies like us, you don't get the whole grasp. And this is why we made this trip to really show all of our clients what it really entails and, and why companies like us or people like us with the amount of experience is is often very vital and also like under a look you know when you're working with a lot of influencer brands maybe it gets overshadowed a little bit because you know all these individuals can maybe say like oh I can go to Alibaba I can do this I can do that as you guys see nothing 
is, is taken for granted in this field. Definitely have a newfound appreciation for garment creation mm -hmm. and, and like how, how everything's just the little, little details and this company being as massive and big as it is, a lot of their processes are automated, but we got to see firsthand just how much uh, actually cannot be automated. Yeah. They still had to do a lot of things by hand and um, it was very technical, very, very, very precise. So it was really cool to kind of see, um, it's like, wow, they're making this massive amount of, of denim, but they still have to do a lot by hand. And it's uh, a newfound appreciation, like I said. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you guys covered it. <laughs> cool. It's uh, it's really great to see all. Ashley, it was like Ashley was at Disney World. Yeah, it was she the was best. like super excited. It's one thing yeah. for factories to tell us all their processes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. get these booklets and have conversations with them, but to see it in person mm -hmm. is next level. You can ask so many more questions, understand why they do the way the things that they do, in order to get to where they need to get to and that just helps me mm -hmm. communicate that information back to the client so I can make very informed decisions with you guys on what you want to make, how you want to make it, why that design might not be good for a certain fabric or why I would recommend another fabric and different wash methods. There's so many different, uh, even though we just looked at denim today, other factories will have similar processes in a way that they do washing and dyeing and garment construction. So. Um, it's important to learn all of that and it'll apply to any of our clients, really. Mm -hmm. Learning all this information and sharing it with you guys. Do you feel like seeing all this in person today has really elevated how you will be designing moving forward? Yeah, it will, how I speak to the clients, yeah. how I communicate with you guys, mm -hmm. um, really just providing you guys with as much knowledge as I have. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to gatekeep, I'm here to share that information so you guys understand the process. Mm -hmm. um, I'm here to design and develop products. So really that just helps me as an individual become more well-rounded with the knowledge that we are given by these people that are experts in it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There's more to come. Tomorrow we go to the Canton Fair. We speak with a few of our manufacturers that are there, take some of our products from our existing clients, to show them and to hopefully make as well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in day two of yep. China. Don't forget to like, comment, day three of China. Don't forget <laughs> to like, comment, share, subscribe. This was kind of like day one of like yeah. doing, doing, doing a lot of yeah. stuff. So yeah. it feels like day, day one. We'll see you in the next day video. Day three, see ya.